In this tutorial, we will be learning how to create line art in Inkscape. First thing I recommend you doing is getting the latest version of Inkscape. I'm currently running version 0.48.1. All you have to do is go to inkscape.org and you'll see here on the home page that they have latest stable version 0.48.1 download now. Just click on that and it should load straight to your computer. Now, once you have the latest version of Inkscape running on your computer, you can go to the program and import whatever picture it is that you plan on making uh, line art out of. I went to the Wikimedia Commons and found a picture from Michelangelo de Bonarotti's sketchbooks. And so I'll just show you how to import an image here. You have to locate your drawing on the computer. Just click open. And it wants to know whether you want to link to the image or just embed it. Just click embed. And there you go. Now, what you're going to want to do is create another layer to work on because the default is layer one. So you go up to layer, add layer, call it whatever you want. And then make sure that you are just drawing on there the one layer so this will be useful later if you want to color your art we're going to draw some bezier curves i love this tool because you can lay down lines rather quickly to get the general feel of the art and what we're going to be doing is essentially creating a box here. Now you can, now that the lines are laid down, you can go in and use the edit paths tool to Change the position of the nodes as well as the curvature of the line so that your line art has line quality. By clicking on the nodes, you can adjust the angle of the line from either end. For instance, a little bit of curve to that nose there. At the tip, we don't want it to be super pointy. Now, with these nodes, uh, right now they're all corner nodes, or most of them are anyway. If you want to get something a more rounded feel, you can go up here and click on the mix selected nodes smooth, or make them symmetrical, or you can make them auto smooth. I typically stick with either just corner nodes or smooth nodes. And you'll see 
that now at the node actually as you change the angle on one side it's affected on the other side to try and keep that smooth look which is awfully helpful okay uh, now that we've laid down this line here just that a little bit uh, we're going to actually fill that in you can click on the stroke or the fill area and it'll bring up the fill and stroke dialog box just click on fill and you'll click on this box here the flat color and you'll see that the lines that the path that you laid down is now filled there you go so you can go and uh, do the same thing on the rest of the drawing all right and here we are with the finished product.